Hello and welcome to my series of bizarre ways to prepare coffee at home when you don't have the right tools. Today, I'm gonna talk about grinding your coffee when you don't have a coffee grinder. Before I get into a couple of my recommendations for grinding coffee without a coffee grinder, um, <clears throat> let's talk about what exactly a coffee grinder is doing. And we touch on the major differences between burr and blade coffee grinders because this explains the importance of what you need to do when you're grinding coffee. What's actually happening? Why are we grinding our coffee? Uh, the purpose of grinding the coffee is to break the coffee down into a, a very small pieces because we want to increase the surface area available for water to interact and extract the aroma and taste compounds. So it's all about surface area. The reason that uh, when we get into brewing really good coffee, we want to use a burr coffee grinder is because the, what the burr does is it, it sucks the coffee bean down and then squishes it between uh, two plates or a cone and I can't do that in my hand. It squishes it puts a lot of force on the bean and causes it to, essentially it smashes it into different pieces. Uh, and it ends up smashing them to pretty uniform pieces due to the way the burrs are constructed. And that is, that is the goal. Try to create uh, as uniform a sort of uh, grind size as possible. Uh, and it does so by literally smushing the beans until they burst into into different into, into millions of little pieces um, the alternate is a blade grinder which chops the beans up uh, and so what you get with a blade grinder unless you pulverize it into like dust uh, you get grind size of all all different kinds and shapes and the, like slivers and you don't have any kind of uniformity so uh, the reason why you go burr is the kind of smashing action causes the beans to break up into more uniform sizes. So we can just go ahead and do that. We can just smash the beans ourselves without a burr grinder. Is it gonna be easy? No, <laughs> of course not. But if you have a bag of whole beans and no coffee grinder, what are you gonna do? Uh, okay, before I get into the like manual processes for doing this, if you have a blender, blade grinders, blade grinders are kind of okay when you're doing a much smaller grind size because when you do grind the coffee to dust, um, it, it does end up in a more uniform size. So that's that's kind of okay <clears throat> if, you're, if you want a fine grind. If you want something coarser, uh, I've certainly done a blade grinder and French press before and that works out. So you could do that with a blender. Uh, you could possibly do an immersion blender, but I think you run into the danger of coffee beans flying everywhere. That sounds just like really dangerous. So, but I just wanted to throw those two ideas out there because, uh, you know, I think probably a lot more people have blenders in their house than coffee grinders. Uh, so that's something to note. Okay, the manual methods. I have really two recommendations. Mortar and pestle is a classic. I think this is something that few people have though, but you know, you can just toss some coffee beans in a mortar and pestle and smoosh them down and you can get pretty good results, honestly. Um, let's see what I can come up with here. Like, I think the thing about this is you got to do it in, in relatively small quantities, but I think you could do a cup's worth of brew at once. And you know what? Let me see here. This is kind of cute. This would be easier with a larger mortar and pestle, obviously, but okay. I don't want to make it too fine. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. So, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good grind for a mortar and pestle. Not too bad. So, I would say 
Um, if you if you have a mortar and pestle, you have no coffee grinder, you want to make a quality grind, I would say that's probably your best bet. Uh, you can do a pretty good job with that. Um, I think you might even be able to get this like really fine. This looks like a pretty medium grind that I got myself to. Um, I could do the whole uh, brew it in a cup thing with this. Um, I could probably uh, grind this a little bit more and even be satisfied with it in uh, Kalita Wave or um, Chemex possibly. In fact, I think I'm pretty close to those right now. So that's a pretty good solution. But again, how many people have a mortar and pestle at home? I don't know. So here's the other solution that I think everyone can probably do. <laughs> and it's kind of a wild one. But I'm going to explain it here and then I'm going to demonstrate. I'm actually going to demonstrate on the floor because uh, this table I don't um, is not going to be easy enough to demonstrate on. But here's the idea is that we're going to smash the beans with a pot. <laughs> not like slamming it down. But what I'm going to do, again I'll demonstrate this on the floor, is I'm going to get the beans that I want for a grind, for a brew, into onto a towel like this. Well, this particular towel here flatten it out and fold it over maybe a couple times put this on the ground or on a flat surface solid flat surface and then i'm going to use the pot and just lean against it and smush and smush and smush until i am satisfied with the grind size now i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to get this as fine as with a mortar and pestle but I do believe you can get a grind size that works for like a nice immersion method. So again, you got whole beans lying around, no other way to grind them. Let's try it out. At the very least, you could grind them enough to brew them in, a, in the pot that you ground it with, possibly. Although this is a little large for coffee. Um, maybe if you want a bathtub full of coffee. <laughs> But, uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt that. Honestly, as I'm recording this, I've only done this once, and it was a long time ago, uh, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to replicate it. But the theory is sound, like, <laughs> you know, grounds everywhere, but this is why we use the towel. You know, we've got, got some real coarseness going on here, but if you're doing an immersion brew or a cold brew or something like that, um, all that noise is why I want to do this on the floor, but that will get you somewhere. So um, let's go ahead, switch the camera. And I'll give it a shot and see how we do. All right, <laughs> hopefully uh, I'm showing up in here. This has got to be one of the weirder videos that I've shot, uh, but I'm going to try to grind this coffee using this pot on this floor. A really solid floor here, so this is going to work well. Um, okay, so I've got my coffee here, and what I'm doing is just trying to get it in one layer, um, you know, spread it out a little bit, and then I'm going to cover it up so that the grounds don't go flying everywhere. Okay, try not to get like too many creases in the way because I want good contact with these beans. Uh, but then I'm just gonna use the leverage of this pot. All right, see how we do. Okay, so <laughs> the pot and towel method doesn't work very well. Uh, we're going to go with pot directly to the beans. All right. Here's 
here's what I'm discovering from this as I do it, is that I can actually get pretty decent coarse grind with this. It's just got to be smaller amounts of coffee because I have to leverage the pot to do this. So I think you can hear the sound of that, right? That actually doesn't really do much. But interesting, once these get ground, they kind of, or like ground, um, they kind of form just a solid mass under the pot that makes it harder to keep grinding. So, gotta do a round like that. Whoo! Point of interest. This is a real desperation grinding move, but you know, if you got no other choice, what else are you gonna do to get your coffee, right? All right, so I've got a pretty super coarse grind, grind here uh, from this. Um, I could keep doing this for another 10 minutes. Uh, I think if I was gonna do this for an actual brew, I would be doing this for French press or more likely cold brew. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more and then hop back up to the regular recording. Whew. Okay, so conclusions. Does the pot method work? Uh, technically, yes. Highly not recommended, but you know, again, if you have no other way to grind your coffee and you want some coffee, what are you gonna do? So I got um, a really coarse grind here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom up on the camera in a second. Uh, if I kept going at this for another 10 minutes, I might get a bit more out of it. All right, so hopefully, hopefully that shows up a bit. Really coarse ground, uh, some like large pieces. Um, and some, some small pieces, but this is like uh, very long cold brew territory. Um, and maybe even a little coarse for that, but you could uh, cold brew this you know, on the counter for, for 24 hours and get something um, probably enjoyable out of it. Cold brew is really forgiving. Uh, the, the reason for that, uh, it's just the time with a lot less surface area because some of these chunks are really big. Um, you need a lot more time to get more out of it. Some other things that you could try doing, you could try doing kind of like a sort of a pseudo mortar and pestle. I mean, the, the reason a mortar and pestle works, you've got this, obviously you have the, the shape, but the, the texture of the, the stone and the stone against the stone really makes a difference. But even this like simple sort of pounding action with the grinds, Let's take some of this and put this in here and see what we can make of it. Like, like this simple action is really breaking down the, these coffee, these fat grinds a lot more. So maybe there's a way to do that, like in a pot with a mug or something like that. Um, I don't know. We're talking like real desperation grinding moves here when you got no other choice. So probably the easiest thing to do <laughs> if you can wait a few days, is just order a cheap grinder off Amazon. But uh, there you go. <laughs> we, made, we made ground coffee with a pot. Uh, if anyone has done anything like this, uh, you know, try to make ground coffee without a coffee grinder, if you have any recommendations, I would love to hear them. Always looking for more uh, sort of off the wall ideas for this kind of thing. Uh, just let me know. Comment below. If you have any questions about this 
ridiculous process? <laughs> Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I was actually kind of hoping this would grind a bit more. I seem to remember it doing better than in the past, but you know, you win some, you lose some. And this is not all bad. You could brew coffee with this. Certainly more so than just having whole beans, which isn't going to get you far. Um, all right. Well, that's, that's grinding without a grinder. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, love it if you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.